For many years, the late Banda was the president of the United Nations Council on Namibia, effectively the recognized government of Namibia, while South Africa's illegal occupation over the territory was being resolved. All activities in Namibia at that time had to be authorized by Rupia Banda. On 23 May 1975, African Liberation Day, Rupia Banda had this to say. The United Nations Council for Namibia would like to seize this opportunity of African Liberation Day to pay special tribute to those African patriots who have uh, paid with their lives in the struggle for freedom in Angola, in Guinea-Bissau, in Mozambique, and indeed in other areas where the struggle has been particularly arduous and the sacrifices have been particularly high. The strength of the freedom fighters in those African countries deserves our total admiration. Indeed, the recent victories that have been achieved in Angola, Guinea-Bissau and Mozambique and elsewhere have shaken the very foundations of colonialism and settler imperialism in southern Africa. It is through those victories and the stalwart struggle of the liberation movements in Zimbabwe, in Namibia and in South Africa itself that the end of the long road to total freedom has been brought measurably nearer. The time has come for the minority regimes in southern Africa to realize that the freedom of the African majorities in Zimbabwe, in Namibia and in South Africa cannot be suppressed for much longer. The international community should now, more than ever before, exert pressure so that the minority regimes will transfer power to the indigenous majorities. Nothing short of that can be acceptable. The council was dissolved in 1990 after Namibia's independence. President Gengop, in a message of condolences to the people of Zambia and family of the late Banda, stated that Namibia, Southern Africa and Africa as a whole, lost a distinguished leader and a dependable friend. As Namibians, we will always share fond memories of this admirable statesman and staunch pan Africanist. In 1974, President Banda, Banda, in his capacity as permanent representative of Zambia to the United Nations, took on the special responsibility of President of the United Nations Council for Namibia. During this crucial period in the history of Namibia's liberation struggle, President Banda played a pivotal role in advancing the cause of independence for the Namibian people. Banda, Zambia's fourth president since independence from Britain in 1964, died on Friday at the age of 85 after a two-year battle with colon cancer. He is the second former Zambian president to die after Kenneth Kaunda less than a year ago. Peter Denk, NBC News, Venduk.